horn bulls we spoke about. I'm going to go a bit closer. I didn't want to chase them off. Uh, but that is a new bird for our list, the ground horn bulls. We heard them calling this morning. We just couldn't pinpoint exactly where it was. There's a lovely clearing that they're moving through at the moment looking for food. And we, I think we're going to have lovely views of them. It's always nice seeing these ground horn bulls. They are so rare and endangered. So this is very special. Uh, let me just try to stop. See if I wonder, maybe down here we might have a better view. I can see one, two, three, I thought I saw four. Five, yeah. Six, oh yes, there's another one, wow. Here we go. That's a wonderful group of ground hornbills, six ground hornbills that we can see. There we go. They are very strange looking birds, very prehistoric I think, the ground hornbills to an extent. I'm just off to the left, you'll see the others, there we go. Wonderful. So we are on 92 species. 92 species we've managed to find in the last week, just over a week. Yeah, no, it's about a week, I said. Yeah. Seven or eight days. Yeah. So very excited about that. This bird challenge has been a lot of fun. Now it's amazing to watch these ground hornbills. They walk, they'll often walk around like this. It's known as a phalanx. When they walk it um, almost in a line, they'll walk through the um, through the grass and look for insects, uh, rodents, reptiles. They'll feed on all those creatures. Oh. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just, just, just disappeared there. Oh, that's, that's weird. I wonder. There must be a little dip. With that wonderful booming sound. <laughs> well, Jenny Animation, you asked if it's possible for animals to be endangered not due to humans but because of habitat loss. Well, Jenny, indirectly, habitat loss is caused by humans. Um, that's the only thing that causes habitat loss is, is us, unfortunately. Um, the human race, I think, you know, sometimes it is, it's very sad because we feel the need at times to constantly grow and constantly take over natural areas, disturb natural areas, and we don't think about the repercussions. And loss of habitat is massive, or is a massive factor for the decrease of a lot of animals, wild dog, the African wild dog, um, yes, and animals like birds, like these ground hornbills. There's a lot of conservation and that goes into the ground hornbills there. Uh, they're just moving off now. Um, I'll talk more about the ground hornbills shortly, but let's head across now to James, who's watching two beautiful male lions. <laughs> 